Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Customize many settings for Lightroom Classic CC catalogs using the Catalog Settings dialog box. To access the Catalog Settings dialog box, select Edit Catalog Settings from the menu bar. The General tab within the Catalog Settings dialog box shows information about the location, file name, and creation date of the catalog. You can click the Show button in this section to view the catalog file in Windows Explorer. The General tab also lets you set the frequency with which the catalog is backed up. We'll take a closer look at backing up catalogs later in this chapter. The File Handling tab lets you adjust several catalog settings. The Preview Cache section determines how three types of image previews are rendered. All previews are stored in the Preview Cache file within the folder where the catalog is located. You can use the Standard Preview Size drop-down menu to set the maximum length and pixels of the longer side of full-size rendered previews. For best results, select a size that is equal to or larger than your screen resolution. For screen resolutions greater than 2048 pixels, Lightroom Classic CC generates a one-to-one -one preview. You can use the Preview Quality drop-down in the File Handling tab to set the appearance of thumbnail preview images. The low, medium, and high selections in the drop-down are similar to the quality scale for JPEG images. The automatically discard one-to-one -one previews drop-down in the file handling tab lets you specify the frequency with which one-to-one -one previews are discarded based upon the most recent access to the preview. You can choose to discard one-to-one -one previews one day after they are accessed, one week after being accessed, or 30 days after being accessed. You can also prevent one-to-one -one previews from ever being discarded by selecting the Never option. The Smart Previews section of the File Handling tab shows how much disk space is being used by Smart Previews. We'll learn more about Smart Previews in a future lesson. The Import Sequence Numbers section of the File Handling tab sets the starting sequence numbers for photos you import into your catalog. The Import Number is the first number in a series that describes how many import operations are performed. The Photos Imported is the first number in a series that describes how many photos have been imported into the catalog. You can also specify many catalog settings on the Metadata tab within the Catalog Settings dialog box. In the Editing section of this tab, you'll see the Offer Suggestions from Recently Entered Values checkbox. If you check this box, Suggestions for Metadata will appear as you type. You can click the Clear All Suggestion Lists button to remove previous entries. You'll also see the Include Developed Settings and Metadata inside JPEG, TIFF, PNG, and PSD files checkbox. If this box is checked, Lightroom Classic CC will include Develop Module Settings in the XMP metadata of JPEG, TIFF, PNG, and PSD files. The Automatically Write Changes into XMP checkbox lets you save metadata changes directly to the XMP sidecar files. This makes changes visible in other applications. To save metadata settings only in the catalog, leave this option unchecked. The checkbox is in the Address Lookup section of the Metadata tab, Let Lightroom Classic CC send available GPS coordinates from your photos to Google. To add city, state, and country information from the photos into the IPTC location metadata, leave both boxes checked. It's worth noting that unchecking the options in the Address Lookup section can prevent the map module from working optimally. The Automatically Detect Faces in All Photos checkbox lets Lightroom Classic CC recognize faces in catalog photos. The Write Date or Time Changes into Proprietary RAW Files checkbox, if checked, lets Lightroom Classic CC write new dates and times to proprietary RAW files when you use the Metadata Edit Capture Time command to change a photo's capture time metadata. When you are done choosing catalog settings, Click the OK button at the bottom of the dialog box to apply your settings and close the dialog box. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.